Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Yaya McLean, former two-time world champion boxer. Hey, I'm going to get right to it. Now, listen, I want to talk to you all because I know the power of believe in self and faith in God. And with those two things, you can accomplish anything. Let me just tell you this. I'm from New York, Jamaica, Queens a rough neighborhood in New York. Matter of fact, it was one of the roughest neighborhoods in the world at one point. It's so rough that unfortunately in 1970, my father was killed in that same neighborhood in Jamaica, Queens, leaving my mother alone to raise three boys. Now, statistically speaking, we're supposed to be dead or in prison at a very young age. We never went to prison and we're all still here healthy and alive. And that's just to show you that you never have to give in to your environment. You don't have to succumb to the peer pressure or to, to the, your, your surroundings. My mother came from Jamaica, Queens. She lived there her, her whole life until, you know, until she had us and decided that we needed better. And she had the wherewithal and the insight to, to do the right things and, and moved us to Las Vegas, Nevada, you know, and gave us a better life. And you can do the same for yourself, no matter where you are. Not to say that just because we were in Vegas, we were in a better situation because there's lots of people here in Las Vegas that are in worse conditions than we were in. So, and even those people can change their life. They don't have to believe that because these are the cards that they're dealt, that it means they're gonna lose. They just got to fight harder and you all have to fight harder. And I just believe that no matter what card you were dealt, no matter what hand you were dealt, no matter what you came out with, however you want to word it, you can always change your own situation. Positive vibes only. Positive vibes only. And the way you do that is by see it. You have to be able to see yourself in a better situation. You have to believe that you can do it and then you can achieve it. See, I know a lot of y'all were taught in school your ABCs, but when you come up through Hard Knocks University, you were taught your CBAs. That see it, believe it, achieve it. See it, believe it, achieve it. See it, believe it, achieve it. You know, at a very young age, I was maybe eight, nine years old. and Kids in my neighborhood used to call me Joanna because I was tall and skinny and I had a long, you know, I had a big curly afro or whatever. And they used to call themselves bullying me. But when they got close to me and tried to really try to bully me, I pop, 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 put them things on them. And so what I'm seeing is that at that same time that this is going on, I see this man on TV patting his curly afro talking about he's so pretty, I'm so pretty, I'm so pretty, and I'm gonna whoop all of you, bro. I'm gonna whoop all of you. And that was Muhammad Ali. And when I saw Muhammad Ali do that, that's when I said, that's what I wanna do. I wanna be a world champion. I wanna be a boxer and I can do it. And there were a lot of people, not my family or my surroundings because I have a beautiful support team, but there are people that was saying, man, you crazy, you can't be no boxer. Or like, where do you even learn how to do that? All those different things, negative things coming your way. But never did I ever think that they were right. Never did I ever say, oh man, I'm just a poor kid from Jamaica, Queens. I can't do this. No, I always knew that I could. And I always believed in myself and believed in God. And so what we did was, I told my mother about it and we found a boxing gym and it was the boxing gym of the late great Howard Davis senior, who's the father of Howard Davis Jr. The 76 Olympic gold medalist. And I went to the gym and started boxing. And that was like when I was 10 years old and I've been doing it ever since I'm 53 years old now. So that's what 43 years of boxing, 43 years. And boxing has, given me such a wonderful life. It has taken me all over the world. I've made all types of money. I've had houses, million dollar houses. I've had 
you know, the, every kind of car you could think of. I mean, I've, I've been blessed. And a lot of that comes from boxing. But most of it comes from belief in self and faith in God. Now, what I'm telling you, you don't have to box. I'm saying that you have to have belief in yourself. You have to have faith in God. And you have to find out what it is that you want to do. Y'all have Google now. You have the internet. There's so much information. All you have to do is type it in. Find out what it is you want to do. Don't worry about what nobody else is doing. You came in this world by yourself and you're going to leave by yourself. So you better make the best of it while you're here. 